Mossel Bay is actually known for sunshine and for wind, lots and lots of wind. Uh, and today that we're going hiking, St. Blazes, it's raining. So who's scared? We're going to be hiking in the rain today. We invite you to join us when we hike the St. Blazes Trail in Mossel Bay. I have got my trusted friends with me again here. <laughs> hey, it's, um, we're not singing in the rain, we're hiking in the rain. <laughs> we're hiking in the rain. Okay, okay, one, two, three, four. And we're hiking in the rain. 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 We're hiking the way, he, he is very musical. Uh, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> The St. Blaise Trail runs either from Donner Bay to Mossel Bay Point or vice versa. It is a 13.8 kilometer hike, or for those of you that think in miles, 8.5 miles. It crosses a whole range of different terrains, from sandy trails to very, very high cliffs around the Pinnacle Point to the Mossel Bay Lighthouse area. Suddenly, it's like it just starts raining more and more. And it was open skies a couple of minutes ago until we started hiking naturally. And I would most probably say this is the reason why we are hiking this route today. Because it's said that this is one of the most beautiful coastal hikes, short hikes, day hikes that you can do and uh, we haven't even started yet and it's the truth. Hiking on a sunshiny day is always nice. But I have to confess, on a day like today, this uh, little bit of drizzle is perfect. It's not too hot, it's not too much rain, and it is just amazing. This morning what I'm experiencing is that the sea and the smells and everything does have a very calming effect on you. This is really cool. We are looking at some dolphins playing in the waves. It's yeah. just down here. Also a big pool there at the back. Yeah. Some of these dolphins are, are actually catching a couple of waves. And my wife and I, we just oh, had I this see. discussion that dolphins feel to us like they are the party animals of the ocean. You know, if, if, if I were to be an animal in the ocean, I think I'd like to be a dolphin. They yeah. always seem to play all the time, eh? Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> Body surfing. Yeah. I think it's official that we can say that on this trail you most probably will see dolphins. Amazing. This is really good. Very nice hike. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's just perfect. The coastal environment is changing. You can see to that side it was very very sandy with beaches and so on and as we started walking it became more rocky. But from this point onwards it's not only going to become rocky but it's going to become cliffs and in this area you'll find a lot of caves cave formations.
three-point system. Always remember your three-point system. When you come down rocks like this, like that, or any place, even on a catamaran, make sure that three parts of your body is touching something safe. Not somebody else, something solid. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be trouble. <laughs> So with us reaching Pinnacle Point and with a golf course, we get this kind of warning. Beware of flying golf balls. <sighs> oh wow. This is a little bit different, Andre. We didn't expect this kind of uh, environment to walk in. <laughs> yeah, we did not expect to enter into this rocky part of the road, but um, it's a but quite... This is not Normal, it's it? no, it's not normal, but it's a nice turn of pace. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, it gives you a different perspective, and it keeps you on your toes, which on is important. Toes, or on your knees. <laughs> you know, yeah, <laughs> or on your face. <laughs> I guess we should start looking out for flying golf balls. I don't want to fall down here. Because if I fall down here, I'm almost probably going to die. Don't look at the cameraman! <laughs> Down with these stairs, you'll find a cave where they discovered some artifacts from many years ago, and uh, it's considered as a site of heritage. But we have been down there once, way too many stairs, way too many stairs. I think this hike is long because of the distance between Donabai and Muscle Bay. Uh, I think it's because it's winding quite a bit, especially here around the golf course, of course. <laughs> but it is beautiful. Oh, 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 oh,
right, so we passed the halfway mark and uh, we just exit uh, Pinnacle Point Estate, Golf Estate, and we're on our way now to Mossel Bay to the, the lighthouse. Three miles, no, two miles left. I think, I'm not sure. What I find very fascinating is how that uh, the uh, surroundings change the whole time from the beaches to the cliffs red cliffs to grass savanna and then suddenly this I do fall behind a bit because I see something beautiful that I want to capture and then I get left behind. That's fine. I've got the car keys. <laughs> does feel like the edge of the world because if you can remember a couple of shots back, straight down, straight down people, straight down. This is nice what the Mossel Bay municipality did. You get enough information about the whole area and the dolphins and otters and everything that's nice oh my word oh my word wow 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 Desperate going fishing right there. Yeah, it makes me think of that song Stay Away to Heaven because I think if you don't make it down those stairs, well, you won't be able to make either, it down those stairs. Either heaven or hell. Yeah, whichever way. But it's a hell of a drop, yeah, that's for sure. No, they must be very desperate to catch some fish. This is the famous Mossel Bay zipline and it goes over the ocean you guys can see it goes all the way down 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 right to the bottom now that I'm standing here I'm thinking to myself oh my word I think we need to do this at some stage but will I have the guts to do it or not As we near the end, I could feel that this was not a quick hike for beginners. You need to make sure that you have enough water and snacks to support you along the hike. Good shoes are also a must as we did a lot of climbing, but the scenery was worth it. Just make sure that you book a whole day for this one because you do not want to rush. And we made it. Muscle Bay. The lighthouse. Thank you to all our patron supporters. We cannot do this without you. And if you like this episode, please remember to like, subscribe and share. For more fun, have a look at these other adventures of Jack Hartland.